tell us more about uh, I'm going to give your... you just some more taste of runeskis, okay? From okay, the Burning hold, Man hold, Research Mission. Hold on, let's, let's set the okay. room. Welcome to the chat of the unknown world. Coming to you live from Burning Man. Burning Man. Wee. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, so I'm back the second episode since I've been back. Uh, I'm going to be trying to keep it nice and brief ish. Uh, Succinct ish. T- talking, talking about the experience on the trip uh, on this show. And then as far as the information and some of the bigger things, um, I will be, of course, we'll be putting out some episodes uh, in different places, some interviews, some material. It's going to be awesome. Uh, last time I talked about it, it was mostly talk, mostly uh, sort of expressing my sense of victimhood from... <laughs> <laughs> the 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 long list of disasters yeah. uh i mentioned the car breaking down the energy uh, the uh what is it called generator breaking down the starlink not working disaster after disaster going mm-hmm. on this was this took about three days the first three days of burning man were complete uh this and that's not where it stopped so on the fourth day i was like oh, you know what okay i'm here I cannot get distracted by these things. I'm here to do a job. I'm going to go out and get some interviews. Uh, Had some very cool opportunities to talk to some uh, pretty high level. Well, first attend some pretty uh, interesting lectures from some pretty high level academics. Mm. Um, Yeah. uh, Especially in the psychedelics culture. Uh, Some big things coming out there. Man, are the psychedelic scholars jazzed, man. (laughs) <laughs> it's the, their time. They've been waiting oh, their whole Oh, this is lives. their time. They know it, too. Yeah, they they are it. like full on A-list celebrities, um, which actually made it incredibly difficult to get interviews with them. In fact, Gons, I'm going to tell the, the next few things kind of uh, are predicated on the fact the last time I was at Burning Man was 2019. Totally different world, of course, than the one we live in now for several reasons. One of the reasons is that podcasting Mm. got too much heat man Mm. podcasting got too much heat over the pandemic of course we had joe rogan podcasts uh, blah 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 blah. yeah all these podcasts you got politicians coming on podcasts Mm. uh you know and and getting in big trouble and losing elections because of it you had you know podcasts over the past two three years have exploded in both popularity but even just you know, people knowing what they are. I mean, it was literally 2019. We would talk to people. They wouldn't know what a podcast is. Uh, and now podcasts are the most dangerous game. Uh, talk to several people, psychedelic um, thought leaders, influencers, and scholars. Uh, got a chance to talk with someone who worked on the James Webb telescope. Ooh. Uh-huh. Uh huh, and a few other a few other notables. Did you ask them um, if the Earth was flat? <laughs> Did you ask them no. if they can see the firmament? No, I didn't get the chance, and I'll tell you why. Because nobody wants to be on a podcast. Aww. None of these people. I say, hey, I really liked your lecture. I would ask a couple very good questions. They say, wow, thank you for those questions. Nobody asked me these questions. Everybody just wants to. Ask me if I have any mushrooms or whatever. And, <laughs> and so I'm coming, I, I'm, I'm doing, you know, look, this ain't my first rodeo. Sure. I've been doing this for 10 years. I can get an interview when I want an interview. Not, well, not, not a single, uh, multiple times shut down almost immediately. You know, can I ask you a few questions? Yeah. You mind if I record this? Yeah. Uh, sure. Or is this going to be publicized anywhere? Well, you know, I'm uh, I'm a podcaster. We explore these types of things. We're really you, you excited. Should said, you should have said, I've been podcasting for 10 years. Oh, that's what you me. should have said. Trust me. I throw that in there, too. Ah, okay. You should have led nobody with that. Want, nobody wants to be on a podcast. Mm. They are all afraid, and they don't want to be on a podcast specifically at Burning Man. Mm. Some of them yeah. gave me their contact information uh, to contact them <laughs> my after. Profs, my, my bosses don't know that I'm here. That kind yes. Of thing. My, no, <laughs> my, my wife wants, thinks I'm on a business trip. They've it, the, the past th- three years have instilled the fear of God 
in these people <laughs> about doing impromptu podcasts. They want time to they check out who I am. They want to check out the podcast. They want to get a list of questions. They don't want to be taken by surprise. This is an extremely new experience for me. Uh, and people are on to us, man. Just all podcasters. Mm. So that was very difficult and very disheartening. Um, that being said, I got a lot of good contact info and, and currently reaching out and getting these interviews scheduled. Uh, so that was a huge bummer. And look, Black Rock City, which is which is the the transient city that uh, is built for Burning Man, is humongous. And you are either walking or you are riding bikes. It takes all day in a hundred and plus weather. Uh, to get from, you know, person to person, lecture to lecture, an entire day of trying to get interviews, not a single one, uh, which is was very disappointing. That is another thing on the list of disasters. But I did get a lot of off the record uh, conversations with people, uh, which, you know, what is a record anyways? It's a very subjective term. Mm hmm. Um, let's see here. It's recorded in Basil's brain. Must be, yes. must be good enough. <laughs> well, the info is there. We've got the info, sure. whether or not it's quotes from the people. Mm. Uh, so that was a huge disappointment. E and then, oh gosh. So I went ahead and started making other content. Like if nobody's going to talk to me, I got to come back with something, mm -hmm. right? I can't. And I got really sort of unfortunately obsessed with recording things to try to, you know, do my job. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, like I said, the Lord was, had his own plans for this whole thing. I spent the next day, now we're five days in guns. Mm -hmm. I spent the next day, you know, getting man on the street stuff, talking to people, doing a bunch of recordings, uh, creating content, which will become relevant soon. And uh, and Burning Man's almost over, and so as as it draws to a close, you kind of start start to lose a lot of opportunities. Sure, uh, everybody's tired, people everybody's are busy. Yeah. yeah, people are leaving, and so five day five days in, I'm cranking cranking out some content. And uh, that night, got back, was stopped by uh, you know a, a watering hole, just trying to see what's going on. I thought I was being a smart professional podcaster switched out my data card mm -hmm. um long story short data card was in my bag on a bike mm -hmm. come out of the water and hole mm -hmm. bikes tipped over mm. bag is completely strewn across the dirt oh no couldn't find the data card uh. the whole day entirely lost and i almost literally now i did literally fall to my knees <laughs> I no. fell to my knees in, in, I don't know, some sort of agony. Yeah. Both picking Charlton up my Charlton Heston-esque. It was, I'm, it felt like I had been struck by lightning. <laughs> it was so horrifying, um, especially after the, the emotional <laughs> disaster that it was so far. Data card gone. I didn't tell you because I wanted the chance to go unpack and like go through all my stuff to make sure that I didn't, I don't know, misplace it or something. Right. Totally gone. Uh, that whole day of content, totally gone. And mm. I had a moment with the Lord five days in just like, bro, <laughs> <laughs> what, what am I supposed to do? What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? What's the plan here? I got almost nothing. I, and anyways, you know, the, the whole, I was pretty much just living out some straight up, uh, you know, what's lamentations. It was mm. a lamentations moment. It was, it was your own little book of Job happening. A out little there. bit of a Job. <laughs> yeah. Right. It was, it, the whole, the whole trip was a bit of a Job yeah. situation. Mm. And, um, I actually did have a very powerful mo moment with the Lord and he was just like, okay, you keep asking me what the plan is. Are you here for me? And my plan, or are you here to make content? Mm. Are you are you here? Are you a content creator? Mm. Benzo, are you just a cool content <laughs> is creator? That, is that how Good. God talks to you with yes. that condescending you know tone? When I need it. When he talks to it. us yep. how we need to be talked that, to, and that is how that. I needed to be talked to. Yeah. And uh, it was this very, very humbling moment. Like, <laughs> oh, you, oh, you're worried about your content? Okay. 
well, fine. Well, I don't worry about my plans if you need content. And uh, yeah, I had a, a very significant heart change that night. Um, and wonderful things happened after mm, that. You're going to leave also, us hanging. Also bad things. Yeah. yeah don't worry. Bad things. The bad <laughs> things kept happening. But also some wonderful things happened. And that's the cliffhanger until Monday's show. I told you it's going to be biblical today. It's going to be gonna biblical. biblical. That's right. Yeah. So there you go. There's uh, just another some trickles from the thing continuing to uh we'll have some content coming out soon yeah are, are we are we waiting on the image you sent me there's one with the oh yeah which image oh yeah this is a fun image uh this is um did we already show uh, this one we might have shown this one uh no there's the shackleton one is the one you're showing no the, the um, that was showing prosthesis. prosthesis prosthesis did we show that one or no i don't remember <laughs> oh i don't remember either i, think we I didn't i think we skipped it last time okay well let's show it now well, there it uh, is. Those, those who watching. remember the whole reason I got back on Twitter was to convince this company who is doing mech suit racing uh, to convince them to let me drive one of their mech suits or and join the league. Prosthesis, the mech suit was out there wandering the desert. It was one of the coolest parts. And here's a little picture of uh, me, my googly eyes and prosthesis. I saw it in person. I got to touch it. I got to kind of climb on it a little bit but i was scared uh did not did not secure a place in the robo racing league um but we'll work on that we'll continue to work on that uh also just just a, another hint as to one of the things that is so interesting about burning man uh and our content pretty much every weird little thing that we're interested in happens or is represented out there including antarctica mm, yeah we'll there was there. an entire themed camp about sir ernest shackleton an antarctica themed sir ernest shackleton camp uh was there i did give you that picture there yeah, which i just thought was interesting i don't know i <laughs> it was completely empty and deserted much like the sunken ship of Sir Ernest Shackleton, <laughs> uh, but they were huge, huge fans of the Shackmeister, uh, which I thought was fun. Mm. And so there's a picture of that. Uh, okay. All That's right. it. 